this is Karen on the Lake Stamper here in Michigan. How's everyone's weekend going? I'm a demonstrator for Stampin' Up! And if you see some items that you're uh, crazy about having, uh, please uh, feel free to shop at any of the links that I'll have listed. Also, a little newsworthy, I'm four from getting to my 100 subscribers. Uh, so once I get to the 100, I'm having a drawing. And also, uh, if you haven't already, just put down in the video that you share the video, any of the videos, by the way. And if you haven't hit subscribe, smash that subscribe button and then put the word share and I, I will put you in the drawing. All right, okay, so today we're do doing the frosted foliage. I, I did the little boxes uh, a few days ago using frosted foliage and I did the stamp uh, one sheet wonder box. So today, we're going to continue with uh, the frosted foliage and, and we're going to do cards. So the couple things that I use, obviously the stamp set and the really pretty, isn't this pretty? I love that one. The die set. Uh, this is uh, all the pretty pieces that go with this piece here. I, oh, and the little guy here that I did not use, but um, here are some of the items that I'm using today. Also, I am going to use something from, and this is the one I, I really like a lot, and that's from our heirloom. Uh, here it is. It's from our heirloom frame, frames, and I really like this great little little guy to use. So, you know, if you don't have it, definitely that's a, a must. It's so nice to have that. Uh, so, a couple of the colors we're going to use. Uh, we're going to use Seaside Spray, Rococo. And another favorite of mine, Pacific Point. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to do six by six today. This is one of the six by six. I'm just going to put it together for you. Or, yeah, I'm going to put this one together for you. And uh, this is my other six by six. So uh, the other ones are my A2 size. I've already done one. And this was uh, sending a little yuletide cheer. I did double uh, cut of this beautiful die cut here. And I shadowed it so it would be white and the Rococo. Uh, I thought that would be really pretty. Also, I used um, some eyelets. I don't know if you guys have those, but they're fun to use. Uh, you can re really get some release some tension <laughs> when you're using those. If you don't know how to use them, just holler, but they're real simple um, and they look really nice. It makes it look a little bit more vintage. And then inside, I just did a really simple, again, using as many of the uh, pretty cardstock as possible and getting it nice and ready and finished. So that's a really nice card all ready to go. So we'll do the, uh, we'll do the six by six in a second. Let's finish this little guy up. So, I am doing the same thing. I'm shadowing this. I already stamped using uh, this really pretty stamps right here. I used my little cherry blossoms. Um, also, I, I don't have my uh, Stella, uh, but what you'd want to do is just do the Stella and color it or some of the glaze to really pop it up. And that's what I plan on doing as soon as mine comes. <laughs> I ran out. Wink Estella. <laughs> it sounds like a, a movie, doesn't it? So I'm just gonna. Uh, I already, I already glued the two uh, similar items together. I also cut this out. Sorry about that. I forgot that. This is one of the other uh, die cuts in this set, and um, I continued it. So it's kind of a three tier. So it looks, it looks kind of neat. It's nice and simple, and goes with this paper, uh, which I, you know, there's so many different colors to to use with the, with with this paper. So it's really kind of interesting to see what, what color you can really, you know, utilize. So I went with Rococo and I think it looks pretty cute. Uh, whoops, I'll make sure that's off. All right, let's make sure I, I'm putting it the, to the right way. <laughs> I hate that. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Now I'm not gonna do the eyelets on this one, all right? I am going to do some pink pearls. And I thought that would be kind of pretty to do that instead. 
Um, also, if I don't have a Wink Stella, I, I was going to put some pink pearls on here too. So let's try that out since I don't have the Wink Stella, which that would be just as pretty. Uh, we'll just kind of pop a, a few. Like we don't have to fill the whole thing, but it's kind of nice to see what you guys think. Let's see. Ah, got it. Ah, just got it. I'll just put like a few. Maybe I'll put three up here. Oops. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Oh, that's not bad. So if you don't have the Wink Stella, maybe some pearls or maybe some white pearls. I wanted to kind of just bring that pink, uh, the pink or the Rock Co color out a little bit. And since I did three a tier, I did the, the two and I shadowed it so that it looks like there's like a lot of leaves and it just gives it more depth, I think. And then inside, I did the You Warm My Heart. Again, I, I like to do the shadowing. This is the heirloom frame that I used. And I think, I don't think we need uh, any more uh, snowflakes, uh, actually. So I won't put any on or I'll think about it and maybe maybe put some on, but let's do a couple of these pearls inside here. What do you think? All right. Again, this is an A2 size. It's an eight and a half by 11. Cut, cut it uh, horizontally, five, five and a half, and score it four and a quarter. And that looks cute, nice and simple. Again, this is really simple. Just cut, cut two of these um, out in any color you want, any color frame you want. Uh, you know, I use the Whisper White and the Rocka Co for this one. Uh, and then if I'd had the Wink of Stella, I would have used that, but the pearls are looking just as good right now. And then the other die cut is this uh, really pretty square seam um, that goes with this whole set. And I used that. Hold on, my pearls on my hand and it won't come off. There we go. Okay, so these are my two A2 size. Pretty cute, pretty pretty easy peasy. Again, uh, for this size, for the matte size, it's going to be uh, four and one eighth times five and three eighths. Okay, for both of these. So nice and easy. Um, just using really a couple die cuts. Uh, maybe a stamp if you want to. If you don't want to do a stamp and maybe you want to do some more hardware on it uh, and more embellishments, uh, maybe doing uh, some eyelets, uh, which I used. So it's really up to you, depending on what kind of style you're trying to make your cute little uh, card. Okay, the other idea too would be to use some facets, which I did bring. Ah, here it is. This is the other piece. See, this goes right here. So. Those are the two main pieces that go with this whole set, okay? Uh, which is this little guy here, your snowflake, which is nice. I've used it all over the place. Uh, and it makes two snowflakes, by the way. And also, this makes your leaves. I've used this one, uh, and you can add more leaves uh, that are just like this leaf here, and it makes two sets. So that's kind of fun, too. All right? There we go, there's our little, there's like five uh, die cuts in this one uh, set, by the way, too. All right, so this is it for the A2 size. Nice and simple. Again, let's do our first six by six. This, the reason I'm doing six by six is, look at some of this, look at some of this paper. It's just, you don't wanna cut it, you know? It, it's gonna make a pretty card even by itself with maybe just something uh, very simple on the bottom here. Uh, it's very, very pretty. Uh, just the right fonts for whatever you're gonna stamp or whatever would be really darling on this. Um, again, any of these would look great too. So what I did is on this first one, we'll put that one over there. This little guy, um, is he already on here? Did I already put him on? Let's see. Yes, okay, the first, this first one is, what I did is I first just put the blue, just to give you an idea where I want it situated, okay? And, and then I'm gonna shadow it. But before I did that, I stamped 
I know, my favorite stamping, which is my little uh, snowflake, which is right here. And I kind of just played around with it, and, and I used uh, the uh, Balmy Blue. Uh, seaside spray excuse me and then went to uh, I would have just kept going too because I really like this stamp uh, and then just use the Pacific Point for this one saying right here so I did that first so it would dry I did them on both so now that this one's already on I'm just the reason I put this one on is to show you because I was stamping this one so I stamped this a little bit and then I stamped with uh, Pacific Point this little saying and it's so darling it's just a nice little saying and it it's so nice and big too which I like I like big sayings so and I didn't mess it up I was so excited <laughs> so all right let's take oh there's a snowflake <laughs> so I like to I like to shadow these I think they just look kind of cool when you shadow them just a little bit just kind of give them a little bit of um, it's already been uh, bumped up I put some dimensionals on the blue one, and I usually would put these together on, but I wanted to show you this one uh, in uh, blue. I think it's uh, Highland uh, Blue. I can never remember. <laughs> there we go. So nice and simple for a six by six card. Very pretty. Um, and now we can start embellishing a little bit. Uh, and what I like to do is I would like to add some snowflakes on this one. Uh, I also have a couple blue. I'm not going to use a lot, just a little. So even though I've already got snowflakes on this one, I still want to do a little bit of a, a little blue on it just in case. Just gives you a little bit more, um, you know. Now what I do is I, I like to double my snowflakes. Uh, makes it look a little bit more fuller. And doesn't want to come off there we go usually I put them together out I usually glue one and then I put the other one on top so it makes it really simple and then I think I'm just gonna put him right here that's it that's it maybe we can put him over here let's see yeah well I think I like him over here <laughs> yeah that looks better all right so Perfect. Now let's put some let's put some diamonds there. I do have pearls. Uh, let's see. Ooh, little noise there. Don't mind. Okay, here we go. Let's do some pearls on this one. I am going to do pearls on the corners. Um, so you know what? Let's move this little guy after all just for just a second because I want to put these down that's right since I don't have the eyelets on here I still want it to look like we have have a finished card and that makes it just look a little bit more finished there there we go and then I have this little guy right here so let's decide where to put this guy I think he doesn't have to be like right on on it either you know okay here we go that looks great okay and then let's let's do let's do a baby a baby pearl or do you want yeah let's do that okay perfect and then when I'm really secure about it okay now that looks darling there we go see so pretty now inside I did this like I said I did the stamping and then what we're gonna do here is just uh, a couple of pearls as well and we're just gonna that's it it doesn't have to go crazy all right uh, I might put a ribbon down here too that's another idea I could do and but oh we, we should probably glue it first <laughs> Oh, there we go. I thought he was glued down. <laughs> Where's my assistant? <laughs> okay, so the next one, another uh, six by six. Again, we have all the pieces, all right? We have the die cut, the two die cuts, 
and we have all the snowflakes and here's the card all by itself okay nice six by six glue it down on a six by six card if you've got them on a base card um, I am going to now this one isn't going to be layered it's going to have these two die cuts it's going to have this die cut and it's just going to have this one all right so nice and easy uh, this is where I'd like to have it but before I do that I'm going to actually do it the way I've done it with the other ones and I'm just going to move my snowflakes okay get some more let's put this one right in the middle now you'll see that the corners could really utilize either an eyelet or pearls or big diamonds okay that's why I did the pearls on the other one so we're going to do the same thing um, but first off we're going to bump this up a little bit with dimensionals and when you get this set you'll really see that I mean there's so many like I said there's so many pretty ones you just don't want to waste the paper so I am going to do the six by six and I think I'm going to bring them to the on stage I hope that some of the ladies want to trade six by six cards um, you know that'll be kind of fun I think they're more they're a little bit more work entailed I think so uh, I hope that uh, some of the ladies want to trade <laughs> it's like trading baseball cards right so let's just bump this little guy right up all right so there we go so what did everybody do today anything exciting kind of took it easy uh, starting uh, back to school with the kids etc that must be exciting uh, for you guys I don't have any uh, mine's all grown so I don't worry about that anymore but um, I know how excited uh, parents are to finally get their kids back in school <laughs> so okay so let's just take these off really quick and there we go and now we're gonna center this little guy right in the middle of this pretty uh, card right here and there we go I wonder if this is balmy blue uh, it's cardstock I think the Highland Heather is a, is a lavender color uh, so I don't think that's the color uh, I want to say balmy blue I wonder if I'm right if I am you know just uh, uh, let me know <laughs> okay so again look how pretty that is isn't that darling so let's make sure my card is going the right way I'm gonna turn this around and I'm going to center that let's see there we go the this color blue really just looks fantastic this is a nice base makes it really simple but yet the card looks so expensive because it's such a big card, isn't it? So, um, let me move this one. In fact, let me put a little bit more. This one's not stained, so let me actually, let me just put this right on top of it. <laughs> there we go. I had this huge bookmark. It's in Waterford, uh, and I just smushed my card so it'll dry and stay. So, okay, so let's go back to this little guy. Let's do, uh, I don't have the diamonds that are big enough, but what do you think about the facets? Let's try those and see how that, oh, that looks good. Oh, I like this too. And I'm liking this. Which size should we use? Here's the big blue ones. You know, I don't know if we need that big of a size. Well, let's see yeah I think it overpowers it okay glad we uh, discussed that don't you all right uh, there we go and one more super see how pretty that is see 
Now, I always do a lot of these snowflakes just to get them all set. I did whites and blues. Um, I think, again, what I like to do is I still want to do one on top of the other. And we could probably put a diamond on this. So I think I might do that because these are too big. And everybody does their snowflakes different. They're, they're real intricate, so you know, you gotta watch that you don't rip them. Not that you can't still use them though, you know. But they are very delicate. Okay. I'm still gonna do the side. I think that looks great. Let's put a diamond in there. Just needs a baby diamond on it. That looks really pretty. I like this. I like this card. Very pretty. That's darling. Nice. Very nice card. And now I did the inking of uh, the stamping. I'm, I'm sorry of the snowflake, and I just did all over random using my uh, using seaside spray. So now I'm just going to. You wore my heart. This was a really nice uh, stamp in this grouping. And it's right here. There you go. And let's do. Now let's do. Actually, let's do some snowflakes on this little guy. Okay. So, because it gives it a little bit more excitement. He looks a little boring, doesn't he? So I think what I'll do is I'll just put him in here. Um, I don't want to really pop him up, but we could. Mm, let's do that. Let's just pop him up just a little bit, make, make it a little bit more exciting. Sometimes if they're flat, they look kind of boring. <laughs> you know? I don't know about you guys, but I, I know you can't have a boring card. <laughs> so, so, okay, so there we go. Everybody got a hectic week going forward. What's going on? We, uh, you know, the Christmas catalog just uh, became live uh, last week on the 4th. So if you see something you love, I would highly recommend you get it before it gets uh, sold out because it's, it's it really is a great catalog. Uh, I'm impressed. So, all right, so we're going to, we popped it up. We're going to put it right here where the, uh, the snow is. And then we're going to have a couple more snowflakes to put on it. Isn't this easy? I think it's pretty easy. All right. Let's just do the white on top. Oh, that's a pretty snowflake. Let's put some diamonds on that too, okay? And then we're going to put them on this little uh, saying right here, just to give them a little bit more depth. There we go. And I need a diamond. I know. I know, right? Everybody needs a diamond. Okay. That is darling. And then you don't have to do matchy-matchy. You can just do another blue one all by its lonesome if you'd like to. Uh, or, if not, let's just do the white. There we go. This one is glued onto that. So that there we go. Let's just use both. <laughs> That makes it easy. That makes it easy. Oh, that's really darling. Isn't that? So this is the one card here. Easy cut out, really. Didn't take long. The embellishments is really what does it for this card here. Uh, it's adding that extra, you know, whether it be uh, your, your pink pearls or it's going to be your eyelets. Uh, you know, just giving it that extra oomph, or even uh, doing two die cuts of different colors of the same die cut and shadowing it. That's always a, a great um, opportunity there too as well. Um, and so, yeah, this came out pretty, pretty cute. I, I'm pretty impressed with myself. So if you, uh, you know, if you are looking for different um, ideas and looking for, um, great uh, opportunities to buy some of these items. I'll have the links listed below 
and feel free to, you know, shop to your heart's content. So I hope you have a great afternoon and a great weekend and get ready for the, get ready for the week. All right. Take care. I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.